Mac OS X for Windows Power Users. Hi, I'm Don Jones. If you're a, a Windows Power User, someone who just knows how to dig into every nook and cranny inside Microsoft Windows, and you find yourself working with or, or even supporting users who are using a Macintosh computer running Apple's OS X operating system, this series of nuggets is exactly what you need. We're going to help you figure out where things are in Mac as they correspond to where they would be in Windows so that you can help people with disk management, file and application management, um, getting their system preferences figured out, working with the terminal command line environment, uh, using and supporting the built-in applications, just everything there is about Mac and the OS X operating system. We'll start with this nugget as an introduction and then move on to nugget number two where we'll do sort of a, a basic orientation, um, help you get around the operating system, find out how to do basic stuff like launch applications and get to the files and folders and so on. Nugget number three will be disk management and maintenance. We'll talk about things like uh, oh, whether or not fragmentation really does occur on an OS X computer. Uh, nugget number four will be our introduction to security and we'll also talk about how to create and manage local user accounts on the Mac. In nugget number five, we'll look at file and application management. Uh, if you've been hunting around on a Mac for a way to uninstall an application, well, that's exactly what we're going to show you how to do there. And nugget number six will be printing and peripherals. Mostly printing, but also some uh, miscellaneous peripherals that you might run into when you're working with Macs. And in nugget number seven, I'll show you how to set up the core networking features of the Mac um, and do some troubleshooting. There's some nice little network troubleshooting tools uh, that you're probably used to using in Windows, and I'll show you what the Mac equivalents are. Nugget number eight will be all about network services and sharing. Um, services that your Mac can provide to the network and share with the network, as well as a little bit on how to take advantage and consume uh, other network services that might be out there uh, using those on your Mac. We'll move on to nugget number nine, where I'll show you how to uh, configure all the different system preferences on the Mac. And uh, nugget number 10, very important, backup and recovery. Um, all of the built-in backup capabilities that are in the Mac. Uh, and number 11, we'll look at the terminal crash course. Now, terminal is kind of the command line window for the Mac, and it's actually a, a full Unix shell. So this isn't going to be a, a nugget on how to use Unix, but it is going to be a crash course so that you can perform a few, um, a few of the basic things that, that you need to be in terminal for. Uh, nugget number 12, using the built-in applications. We're talking about Safari, Mail, Calendar, Address Book, stuff like that. Uh, and nugget number 13, using Windows-based resources. Uh, printing to a, a printer on a Windows print server, maybe, or getting to files on a Windows file server, stuff like that. Number 14 will be ongoing maintenance. Stuff like dealing with software update and patches, um, you know, ongoing disk maintenance, stuff like that. Little things that you just you have to pay attention to. Nugget number 15, kind of my, my miscellaneous topic, what else? We'll look at uh, remote control, some useful utilities, including a few must-have non-Apple utilities, things that you may need to go get, um, but that can be very useful if you have them. Uh, nugget 16, advanced integration with a Windows-based network. Uh, and so this is going to talk about how to get a Mac into your Active Directory uh, and do some other neat stuff. Now, in some cases, you can go to a certain point with what's built into the Mac operating system, um, but I will mention some commercial tools that let you go further uh, so that if you need to go further and get even deeper integration with your Windows-based network, you'll at least know what direction to go. Nugget number 17 will be some missing links. How to get key Windows features onto your Mac uh, so that, that it can participate and do everything that the user needs it to do. And finally, nugget number 18 will be Boot Camp, how to run Windows on the Mac hardware, uh, which is a great way for getting key Windows features onto the Mac hardware, although, as you'll see, there are some downsides to it. All right, so that's everything. Let's, uh, let's dive into nugget number two 